Asparagus by Maria Edgar Mr Ramsbottom went to the races, a thing he had ne'er done before, and as luck allers follows beginners, won five pound, no less and no more. He felt himself suddenly tempted to indulge in him some reckless orgy. So he went to the cafeteria and had some dressed crab with his tea. He was crunching the claws at the finish and wondering what next he would do when his thoughts turned to home and to mother and what she would say when she knew. For mother were dead again tracing, and said as she thought were a sin for people to gamble their money unless they was certain to win. These only domestic reflections seemed to cast quite a gloom on Pa's day. He thought he best take home a present and square up the matter that way. Were a bit of a job to decide on what best to select for this year, so he started to look in shop windows in hope as he'd get some idea. He saw some strange stuff in a fruit shop, like leeks with their knobby ends gone, uh, packed up in bundles like firewood. Said Pa to the shopman, what's yon? Asparagus stuff what the toffs eat, was the answer. Said Pa, that'll suit. I better take a couple of bundles from Mother's a Bobby for fruit. So he started off home with his purchase and pictured Ma all the next week eating asparagus fried with her bacon or mashed up with bubble and squeak. She knew if he'd heard he'd been racing, she'd never very nigh talk him to death. So he thought he'd best call in the local to strengthen his nerve and his breath. He had hardly got up to the counter when a friend of his walked in the bar and said, what you got in the bundle? A present for mother, said Pa. Asparagus, stuff what the toffs eat. Said the friend, it's a rum-looking plant. Can they have the green ends for me, rabbit? Said Pa, I cut off what they want. <laughs> he cut off the ends of one bundle. Then more friends arrived, one by one. And all of them seemed to keep rabbits. Pa had no green ends left when they'd gone. When he got home, the house was in darkness. So he slipped in as sly as a fox, put the asparagus on the kitchen table and went up to bed in his socks. He got in without waking mother a truly remarkable feat and pictured her telling the neighbours as was so arrogant up like the toff seat. But when he awoke in the morning it was very nigh quarter to ten. There was no sign of mother or breakfast. I said Pa, what's she done with you, son? He held down what's up there in kitchen. Said Ma, you'll do well to inquire. Them bundle of chips as you brought home last night. It's so damp I can't light the fire. <laughs>